Photographers and videographers spend a lot of time on their workstation computers, so when their hard drives fill up with temporary folders and files, it can be a real nightmare trying to find those files and delete them out. In this F-Stoppers video, I'm gonna show you a neat little program that I use to help locate temporary folders so that you can delete them off of your main hard drive. If you're a photographer, videographer, then you're probably using a lot of software like Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere, um, Final Cut Pro, and these programs are all leaving temporary files all over your computer and they can be very difficult to find. So the software that I use, Win Directory Stat, can easily show you where those files are so that you can clean up your hard drive space relatively quickly. If you use a, uh, a Mac, then you can use a similar program called Disk Inventory X, but because I'm on a PC, I'm gonna show you the steps that I use to clean up a lot of space on my primary hard drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the program here, and you can see here that my uh, primary solid state hard drive only has uh, 119 gigs and I'm using 93 of those with only 8 gigs left. So I want to go ahead and clean this up so that I have a little bit more space and see where all of these files are hiding on this hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and just click this and you can see the program is going to uh, go through the entire hard drive. So we'll give this a second. And what's so awesome about this software is it's actually gonna give me a graphical representation of where all the files are lying on my hard drive. So here we go, the software has gone through the entire hard drive and it's created these uh, color-coded areas that represent different sectors of the hard drive itself. And this makes it just extremely easy to find files that might be hidden in directories buried deep into your computer. So let's click on this first box up here, this purple area, and it instantly tells me that this file is a Photoshop temporary file that's hidden deep inside, uh, it looks like the app data folder. And you can see this is 3.8 gigs. If I click to the right of it, there's another file that's 2.1 gigs. So because these are Photoshop temporary files, I know that I can go ahead and delete those and really clear up a lot of space on my hard drive. So I'm gonna go here and right click and hit open. And that's gonna bring up the file that I'm trying to delete. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of these Photoshop temporary files that are gonna be very common on a lot of photographers' hard drives and go ahead and clear those out. And I probably need to close Photoshop to be able to do this. So let's close that. Perfect, so we've deleted all of those huge Photoshop temp files. And you can go back through here and really clean up a lot of these other files if you want, but for the moment, those two were uh, accountable for four gigs. So I'm just gonna move on to the next sector. And let's click these down here. And this looks like these are Adobe Premiere files. So I do a lot of video editing on my computer as well, and Adobe Premiere is going to accumulate a lot of temporary files deep on my main hard drive. So I'm gonna look at some of these, and you can see here's one that is uh, one gigabyte which isn't that large, but we could go ahead and delete that as well. So let's go ahead and click over here and see what all of these uh, purple files are. And it looks like these are all backup files from, I guess, my iPhone. This is under the, the Apple Mobile Sync backup folders. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this folder and delete most of these files out. And what I would really recommend is uh, doing a little bit of research before you delete these because chances are you're gonna want some of these backup files so that you have recovery material in case your iPhone crashes. And you can see here, this folder is taking up 9.6 gigs of material. So this is probably the, uh, the culprit for most of my hard drive space. And if you're an Apple user, you're probably aware of this folder already. But I'm gonna go ahead and delete most of this material out so that I've gained back a lot of my solid state drive space. All of these red files, these are uh, more files that I've uh, created on my computer and these are actually video temp files for videos like I'm making right now. So again, four gigabytes, you know, all this stuff really adds up. So once I get done with this video, I'm gonna go through and delete all of these temporary files. And so, you know, just Checking these few little spaces and deleting a lot of these temporary files or deleting a lot of unused video or screen capture files that I don't need 
I have been able to clear up my hard drive and have 23 gigs left on the solid state drive. So before it would drive me crazy trying to figure out where all these files are being stored and you know these programs throw files in so many different locations that if you don't change the default temporary folders it can be a real nightmare trying to figure out where all of this storage space is being held on your hard drive. So I hope a lot of photographers and videographers can, uh, can use this software to help clean up their main hard drives and get their computers running really quickly. And again, if you use a Mac, you can use a similar software program called Disk Inventory X. So I really encourage you guys to download this free software and use it to help maintain your workflow. If you're interested in more content related to photography or videography, head over to fstoppers.com.